Cause we just tryna get it poppin' what's good Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana and in today's video I'm officially kicking off my summer bikini series. I am so beyond excited. I know a lot of you came to my channel from my review bikini videos last year, which makes me just really happy to be continuing it. This year I've made a really big emphasis on including a ton of different brands, sustainable brands, more inexpensive brands, and everything in between. I am just so excited to show you all the amazing companies that I have partnered with. With that being said, today's video is sponsored by Shein because that's just how I got started on this series with Shein sending me bikinis and it really you know, motivated me to get the ball rolling on bikini review. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you, I think 20-ish bikinis that Shein sent me. I've tried all these on, I've got different notes for you guys as far as fit and style and also just what I think is going to be popular this summer if you're looking to kind of, you know, spruce up your bikini collection this year. I will remind you guys, if you are shopping on Shein, you can always use my code J U L E S S M U R P H five gets you 15% off and free shipping in most cases totally worth it and it helps me out. Thank you so much to those of you who use it. And without any further ado, let's get right into the video. While you're here, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. So this first bikini is one of my favorite from this year. I love this white and blue floral top and it has high-waisted bottoms. I just think it's so flattering. This ties in the front and in the back and has adjustable straps. So you can really hug things how you want to, squeeze things in, let things be a little bit looser. It's kind of got the ultimate adjustability. I'm surprised more bikinis don't have this many ties to them because it just makes it so much more wearable. I find it really flattering on me and I really, really like this one. I should mention I got all these bikinis in a size small. So if you're trying to base it off of my measurements, I'll have them down below. Um, I'm usually a size 32D-ish in bras, and I find that size small on Shein usually works for me with a few exceptions that we'll get to in this haul. Something I got a request for last year was more one-piece bathing suits, and I really tried to hear you guys out and get more, even though one-pieces aren't necessarily my style, but wow, I've been blown away by the more scandalous one pieces. I think they're so flattering. For example, this one, first of all, absolutely gorgeous color, but, it covers very little. Like you've got that deep plunge in the front, almost completely backless, super cheeky in the bottom. I think that you can find a really nice balance of being covered but still sexy when you get one pieces that are a little bit more showy. I just love this one. As you can see, it's lined in white, but it's not lined in white in the back. So the part that has any potential to flip over is just this blue color and you're not gonna get that flipping, which I'm obsessed with. And the front, I just think this plunge is ridiculously flattering, not to mention the color is gorgeous and definitely very in this year. There are a few bathing suits in this haul that are exactly this color. And frankly, a few bathing suits I got from other brands this year that are this color too. So I think this one is really, really in. So remember last year, my first Shein haul of the year for bikinis, I tried to get bathing suits that would match for me and my boyfriend. And it was a failure. Despite the website saying it was the same color, they were not the same at all. So I went and tried this again this year and I have two sets that I were hoping would match. One is a perfect success, one is an absolute failure. Let's start with the failure. This is the men's print, this is women's print. You cannot tell me these are not different things. This is like zebra, this is like waves. I was disappointed. That being said, my boyfriend will very happily wear this pair of shorts. He really liked the ones that I got him last year. I did size up and I do think it's worth sizing up in all of the men's shorts. They just fit a little bit tighter than you'd expect. But yeah, this is the first pair of very standard pair of bathing suit shorts. And the women's pieces to go with it are this like super, super standard bikini top and then uh, just a pretty much regular bottom, but it has a bit of a cutout here on the side. I don't know if you guys can tell. It has a cutout right here. It's like a tiny little strappy cutout. I wish they matched, but honestly it doesn't matter in the long run. On separate days, or maybe even the same time, we're both gonna wear these bathing suits. I just wish the website was a little bit more transparent about how things aren't gonna match. Like these are fully marketed as a matching set and they definitely aren't. It's possible that when I was ordering these bikinis, I forgot I had a family, like a family that would see me and see my photos and see my videos and possibly even see me at the beach because some of the things I got are like, whoo, like this top, totally normal top, like beautiful color, super simple top, tie the neck, tie the back, beautiful. Then we have the bottoms and from the front, they look normal, but from the back, this doesn't cover anything. Like, 
I'm gonna wear this because it's beautiful and I love the color and I love the gold jewels and details, but scandalous. This is so scandalous. Like, I love a skimpy bikini and this is just not enough for me. And actually, strangely enough, I find that something that's that little coverage isn't as flattering as something that's just like a little bit more full coverage. I think I always find thong bikinis more flattering than g-string bikinis, so that's something to keep in mind if you're of the nature of, you know, less is more. I think that in this sense, more is probably less. I don't know if that's the right way to say that, but you know what I mean? I don't like exactly how skimpy that one is, but other than that, it's a beautiful suit. I did get a couple of non-bikini beachwear accessories as well. So first off, I got these pants, which you just, you know, slide over a bikini and wear. I like these for a little bit of extra warmth. You know, you've been hanging out at the beach all day, it's starting to get cold. You can just throw on these super soft, super comfy pants. Very flattering, I will say. They're a little bit short on me, but like I don't really mind a capri at the beach in the middle of summer, but I will say they're a little bit short. And they're not a true white, they're more of like a creamy color, but they're really comfy, so I'll give them a pass. Time for another one piece, and this one is much more full coverage. I think this is more of a modest bathing suit, despite having a few fun details. So it's this lovely color of beige and brown, and then it has the cutouts. So the back is relatively full coverage and then the front has a cutout here and then the whole stomach cutout. I really really like this. I love the colors. I love the fit. I have one little design element that I don't love of it and it's these pieces down here. They kind of come around your leg. This is where it sits on your hip and this comes around your leg. It looks kind of like you're wearing low-rise underwear under the bathing suit. You'll see in the try-on. I don't love it. Honestly, after I show you guys, I'm just gonna cut it off because that's the best case for me. I'll get wear out of this bathing suit after I do that, but for now, I just don't love that one detail. I'll also say that this one is very, very adjustable because you can adjust these, you can adjust the back. This is another really good one if you're maybe not a standard size or if you're not sure what size you are because you can move between them very easily with all the straps. I also got this beach dress, but I will say it's more of a beach shirt on me because it is super, super short. I'll definitely get word of it, but it doesn't have enough length to stay below my butt, so it doesn't work in that sense. If you're a little bit shorter than me, I am 5'9", I think this would be a much better option on you, but I think it will give you a little bit of warmth, it has a nice scoopy low back, ties for security, everything. I really actually like this, I just wish it was a little bit longer. I told you guys earlier I had another bikini in that beautiful blue color and here it is. This is the only thing in the haul that's like a little bit big on me but it's still a size small which I was a little bit surprised about but you know sizing can tend to be a little bit wonky from time to time. With that being said it's adjustable on the top, adjustable in the front, very very adjustable so I make it work despite the fact it's not super flattering, it doesn't give me that scoop but again the color is beautiful and that's what drew me to it. Also, the bottoms are exactly that style we were just talking about that is so, so flattering. Plus, and this is a pretty subtle detail, instead of being straight across, this is a scoop to it, which I think is really, really flattering. Also, it's worth mentioning, this is the softest bikini material, and I love ribbed bikini material. I really, really like this bikini. I wish it was just a little bit smaller. This next one piece looks a little crazy when it's not on, but you guys will see in the try-on, it'll give you a better idea. Basically, it looks like this. You put it on and then these cross over and like cover everything up. So I know that did not really show you what I need to show you, but basically it's a beautiful blue color block with these brown tortoiseshell details. Really cool. Not super bouncing around in the waves friendly. I would definitely be nervous something was gonna go flying, but it's definitely very flattering and would be great for a fun beach picture. So this is the other matching bikini set, and as you guys can tell, it worked out much better. These are actually exactly the same print, and that's how I think all of the matching sets should be on Shein. I don't know why they aren't like that. I'll start by talking about the bottoms. My boyfriend tried these on, they fit great. Again, I did size up. These are probably one of the more out there prints as far as guys' prints go. I'm sure my boyfriend will wear it. I don't think he would have chosen it for himself though, but I really liked it. And then as far as the bikini goes, this is the very first underwire top from Shein I have ever had that is fit properly. For the first time ever, there's just enough room in the cups for everything to go inside and I love that. The bottoms aren't super cheeky, they're a little bit higher coverage than I like, but that's okay. Although they are lined in white, unfortunately, so. This next set is three pieces, which was so popular last year. I feel like every single bikini I got came with some kind of skirt or wrap. Not as popular this year, but this is a fun gold ribbed set. It's classic bikini top, classic pretty skimpy bikini bottoms, 
and then a skirt. And the skirt is fun because it's not a wrap, you don't have to tie it, it's just like the skirt as it comes. And it's really comfy, this is such a smooth, fun rib fabric. And I think the color is fun, I don't have a lot of gold bikinis, I do have two in this haul, funnily enough. It's a fun color, fun design, super simple, but also kind of like sexy and elegant in a certain way. This next one is also fun, I love the color, but even more importantly, I love the material. I love these ruched bikinis. So comfortable, so stretchy, and very, very flattering. So you have the top with another one of these tortoise shell circles, and then we have the bottom with the same detailing, same material, same everything, lined in white, but basically cheeky enough that that's not an issue. You'll have to see in the try-on, but I don't think the white shows. I love the color of this, this kind of like burnt terracotta color, really, really, really nice. Definitely more of a fall color, not something you see a whole lot in the summer, but I think it's super flattering, so I'm glad to have it. This bikini is kind of like the magenta one I showed earlier, it's like a what the heck was I thinking moment, but this is the top, just a standard bikini top, another one of these gold details, but then the bottoms are skimpy as heck, they are like nothing. These are, I don't know, maybe a thong more than a g-string, because it does have like a little bit of material here, but Again, a little bit less material than I think is like optimally flattering. I do like the color combo. I love the gold jewelry, good material, good quality, but I don't know where I'm gonna wear it. I'll have to figure that part out. So this is the other gold bikini I was talking about. Again, I think gold is coming into style as far as bikinis go this year. This is basically a classic bikini top, but it does have the tie in the front, which I really like, and I think is more flattering than the back because instead of like pulling together in the back, you're pulling together things in the front, which obviously gives you some flattering options. Then the bottoms are just like classic, super cheeky thong bikini bottom. I like this a lot more than those two g-string ones I showed so I think I'll definitely get more use out of this suit than those suits because as much as this is super minimal I think it's more minimal in a classier way and I'm really interested to see how this color looks like with a tan. I can't believe this is the only black bikini in this haul. I'm usually a black bathing suit girl but I'm kind of branching off into fun prints and fun colors. That being said this one is super simple, super easy, straight across. It honestly doesn't have enough coverage for me and I don't have huge boobs. It's kind of like the Zara dress if you know what I mean. Either your boobs fit in or they don't. My boobs do not fit in this but the bottoms are gonna get used because they are exactly that amazing style I love. It sits on the hips, it's adjustable, and it has that flattering dip in the back I've talked about. I don't know if you're even seeing what I mean, but this is not straight across like that. It has a natural dip to it, which is so flattering. So I'll probably just pair it with a different black top. I'll try to show this in the try-on, kind of like placed where it needs to be, but I am gonna need a different black top, that's for sure. This bikini is another beautiful blue one. Standard style bikini top, fun floral design. I think back in like 2016, this exact same floral was super popular and it clearly it's making a comeback because I've seen it a lot on the Shein website so far this year. But this one ties in the back rather than the front. Otherwise it would be identical to that gold bikini. Again, I think the front tie is more flattering, the back tie is more classic, and I like how it looks for tanning and pictures more. But that's kind of a, you know, whatever you like more kind of thing. The bottoms are adjustable front and back for how much coverage you want. I can't say I find this style of bikini ridiculously flattering. Honestly, who wants less coverage in the front? I don't know. Not me, so maybe that's personal. but. I think this is weird and it never comes up high enough to cover everything I want it to cover. I don't like a low waist bikini and when it comes to something like this you have to decide do you want high in the back or high in the front and I want high in both areas. So this is probably one of my least favorite bikinis of the haul both quality wise and fit wise but I'll probably get a couple wears out of it anyway. Alrighty last one and we're back to that ruched fabric and a really fun floral print design. Beautiful gorgeous colors that are really going to make a tan pop. I love when Shein makes these simple bikini tops with this material because they have a little bit of structure and they truly hold you up. My favorite bikini last year from Shein was this style. I had it in three colors by the end of the year and I loved it. You guys can see that in previous videos, but the bottoms are where it wins because they are high waist, tie over the hip, adjustable bottoms, and they have that beautiful print. Again, white on the inside, but they don't tend to flip around because there's a lot of structure to this material. So I save one of the best for last in a sense because this is probably a 10 out of 10 bikini in my books. 
Well, you guys, you've made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching the first installment of my summer bikini series. I am so excited to bring you bikinis from so many different brands. But if you are shopping on Shein, be sure to use my code J-U-L-E-S-S-M-U-R-P-H-5 to save 15% and get free shipping on most orders. And if there's a bikini you loved in this haul, be sure to comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. I wanna know